just barely fits. And it does, oh my god. <laughs> what Zebec is this? Today we're gonna be looking at the Zebec Tri-Screen 2. It's like a extra two displays that uh, attach onto your laptop, allowing you to have the triple screen experience, which is amazing because nothing's more frustrating than getting really used to having multiple monitors and then having to go work on your laptop for a long amount of time and it's just brutal having to switch. You're always fiddling with your windows and stuff like this. This allows you to maintain uh, a semblance of portability without having to deal with having a tiny screen. And I'm pretty excited about it. So let's take a look. Let's. What do they say on the back of the box about the Zebec Tri Screen? Is it Zebec or Zebec? I don't know. So the future of work reimagined. The Zebec Tri Screen 2 adds two additional screens to any laptop. Maximize productivity without sacrificing portability. Time to free myself. Let's open it. This is a fun presentation. It looks like right here they have a QR code for like a quick setup guide. That's nice. Wow, welcome to the Zebec family. I'm part of it. So what we have in the box is here, the, scre the screens itself. Inside we have a user guide with a QR code. So if you wanna, if you don't like paper, additional accessories and cables, two HDMI, to mini HDMI, two USB-A to USB-C, USB-C 90 degree pass-through charging adapter, a Velcro cable tie, two USB-C to USB-C cables, and a USB-C extender. Oh, and look at that some stickers. There's a little bit of background to this short circuit. A few months ago on Linus Tech Tips, we covered a product called the Quumzy P2 Pro, and we were pretty excited about it because it was like this product that had for so long had been like hinted at with a uh, Razer's like Project Valerie or whatever. What you'll see in that video is that we found that there was another company called Portable that was uh, doing a Kickstarter at the time and they were basically a scam artist is what we've deduced. Apparently they haven't shipped anything. I haven't looked up recently if they have. Quumzy was able to, you know, deliver a product. However, we got an email from the CEO of Zebec who wanted to tell us his side of the story. Quumzy has allegedly infringed upon Zebec's patents, two of them, so they have active lawsuits going on right now. This doesn't mean that that, that Quumzy actually did that, but there's a tendency for these no-name Chinese manufacturers to find like a good idea on a Kickstarter and then they can ramp up production and get to market before that Kickstarter can actually go through it. So lots of times you'll see companies do things like they'll make a product for another company and then sell it out the back door as their own product. The CEO to of Zebec told me about how their first manufacturer was actually doing this, so they had to move and find another manufacturer. Quumzy basically just found their product, copied it as closely as possible while making enough changes to kind of get away with it. But Quumzy even went so far as to use these guys' manuals. They would like actually just put in the Zebec manual and it would have a link to Zebec support so when people had problems with their Quumzy monitors, they would go and clog up Zebec. Like it would screw Zebec over. So they had to deal with like all of this extra like BS just because Quumzy was using it. I had a lot of issues with it. You can go see that video on Linus Tech Tips. Linus liked it, but uh, it did it did things, but it didn't do anything particularly well. And it seemed like a very first generation product. What I'm hoping is that the Zebec Tri-Screen 2, also being at the, the second generation of this product, has ironed out a lot of those kinks. So we're gonna take a look at that today. It comes folded up like this. I'm trying to figure out how I even open it. There's a kickstand here. Okay, that comes out. Ah. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting. So you would take your laptop. Let's just take this MacBook again. So what the Quumzy would do is that it would like, ha you have a button, it would extend outwards and then you could just kind of ratchet and adjust it to the exact dimensions of your screen. This one does not have that kind of ratcheting mechanism. So I believe that that's what this strap is for, but I don't know how it would stay. Maybe there's stickers or something. Already I'm noticing one thing that I like about this, and that's that your screens are protected when they're closed. When they're on the back of your laptop, they're not exposed to the rest of the world like they were with the Quumzy, which was like just freaking stupid. Oh. I see, I wasn't supposed to take this out. Mistakes were made. Okay, so what this elastic band is gonna do is that, it is that it's gonna make this so that it stays tight to your laptop. It prevents you from pulling it out super far and it would just fall off. So what I will do is I'll take it, I'll extend it, we'll place it on the top of the laptop. And as you can see, it's pretty heavy. Your laptop hinge is not gonna be able to handle this on its own, which is why they include this kickstand. It's kind of flimsy though, do you see that bend? 
That's a lot of flex there. I wish it was metal. You actually will need this to be the full length. This is kind of having the, is there another one on the other side? No, this is kind of having the same issue as like the Nintendo Switch kickstand where it's like. Bada bing, bada boom, baby, here we go. Oh yes, and it curves in. Another stupid thing about the clumsy monitors was that they were like, we have 270 degrees of uh, movement. But uh, the 270 degrees was like from here to like here. Whereas this actually has a way to pull it in so I'm not so wide, like, cause then I can still have the screens but I'm not taking up a ton of space. All right, so let's get her plugged in. So this is already showing why they give you so many goddamn cables is because if you're in a scenario where you're on an older laptop like this MacBook and you don't have USB-C, you'll have to adapt to the USB type A, which is great that they give you adapters. But before we get plugged in, let's learn about our sponsor, Secret Lab. Thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this video. Secret Lab chairs are designed to keep you comfortable for those long nights of work and play. Their Titan Evo 2022 series chair offers four-way lumbar support, comes with a magnetic memory foam head pillow, and is offered in different upholsteries like hybrid leatherette, soft weave fabric, and Nappa leather. Best of all, a five-year extended warranty is included along with a 49-day return policy, so you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link in the description and check out Secret Lab today. All right, let's plug her in. I'd want it like this, so that the wires are away from me. Okay, are there buttons on the top? So on the top of each side, there is an on-screen display button, a, and a plus and minus button. I imagine those would typically be for brightness. They are also for navigating the display. They also sent us like this adapter, which I guess will allow it to be USB-A to an HDMI and a USB-C, and then what's this? The USB C to A the arrangement from the display menu. That's not in here. All right, f the MacBook. We're going elsewhere. <laughs> uh, we tried getting it to work on this thing real quick, but it was having troubles. There are drivers. We just didn't want to go and install all of them. We didn't want to go through the rigmarole of doing exactly what they've laid out for us in the instructions. Uh, this is a 14 inch uh, HP Elite Folio. Here's the downside. If you have an ultra slim like laptop that does not have very many ports, this is gonna take up two of them. Hey, it's a Zebec on both sides. Oh, and it worked automatic. It's just auto it's already on. It was that easy actually. Um, the screen sizes are not correct. This one's like a little bit off on the size, but that we can fix that real quick by adjusting our display settings. And then we're gonna adjust. Oh, I should set up screen cap, shouldn't I? We don't have OBS on this, do we? I have OBS on here already. <laughs> we're switching again. Get, get on there, little doggy. <laughs> okay, so we're just getting the display set up. The nice thing is that it is like recognized immediately as a display. We can adjust the brightness using this, using the tops of each display. And that's nice that they have individual brightness because if you're, say you're sitting in the sun, there's a bit of an angle. Battery life's always a concern. This is gonna start sucking a lot of battery. This is probably using like, pulling 10 watts, like five watts each out of your battery. So that's really gonna have an impact on how long you're gonna be able to use your computer. So this is kind of the thing that you might wanna be using your laptop plugged in for. So as speaking of charging, you can actually use the screens as a pass through to charge your laptop in case you're in the scenario like with the Elite Folio that we had earlier where you only had two USB-C ports. So you're not totally stuck you can still charge with pass-through charging, probably at a, at a lowered speed. So each display is 10.1 inches and is 1920 by 1200. They're LCD IPS displays. They have a 60 hertz refresh rate, 180 degree screen rotation. I mean, that sounds about right. Adjustable brightness. We also have other settings in the on-screen display, color temperature. You have HDR on these? No. How? Yeah, the variance in brightness is not huge. Here's a disapp this is disappointing. You know, I was talking about like quick portability and being able to just kind of lift up and move it wherever. Because of the plug being down here, it prevents you from being able to slide in the laptop while keeping everything plugged in. So if I want to like move, I have to take this out and then this out. And then, and now I can go. But like, at least it's still like, okay, I'm done. I can throw it in a bag. But it would have been really nice if these could have stayed plugged in. So like if we had them on the outside, I do understand how that would introduce a lot of extra cable length 
to have to go around the other side and that again would be its own set of issues. Um, so it's a trade-off that they had to make. I'm neither here nor there on it. I think it's fine. I will say the size is, being 10.1 inches is kind of small. I know it allows for extra flexibility. If uh, I've changed it to HDR and now all the colors on this are very wonked. My battery's running low. I might want to plug in my PC. See, as I said, it does consume battery quite quickly. I was at 20% when I put this on and attached it and now it's gone. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call this HDR, but it's actually quite a good looking display. I don't hate it. This is like so, this is like, like a lot of this is what I wish the Quumzy monitor did. It takes a lot of the issues I had with that in terms of its fit and finish, its usability. Just unplugging this and sliding in. This, is, this mechanism is not perfect on this side. Um, and I wonder how it's gonna hold up being all plastic. But like, this is the exact thing I would want. This is exactly what I was kind of looking for. The price is $500, which sounds like a lot, but think about it like this. You get not one, but two 10 inch screens and you get this convenient form factor plus a ton of cables. Like they really wanted you to cover every single use case. They didn't want you to be stuck without a way to, like a way to use this on your laptop. I wonder if this would work with some of the bigger 17 inch laptops. Like let's use this grain real quick. Hmm. LTTstore.com, this water bottle, drink. <laughs> just, just barely fits. And it does, oh my God. <laughs> I do wish that maybe it was bigger than 10.1 inches. I wish they went to like 12. I know that's not really the most common panel size. What's limiting a lot of manufacturers is that if you need a display, you can't get it in just any size you want. 10.1 inches is like a common tablet size. So that probably made it a lot easier for them to get these displays. What is happening here? Whoa, wait, what the hell? How come they're both on the same one now? These just come off of this rail. See how there's this, this whole e exit point. So when you push it back in, I don't know, it seems to not be doing it. Any oh, it happened. This one fell out. It seems like, I mean, there's other companies that make these. There's a company called like Mobile Pixel that I believe makes a similar product. The really hard part about this is not the displays for me. I don't really care that much about the quality of, of the display because this is kind of an office work thing. It's about the mechanism. Like th this doesn't sit flat, you know? Like I use this once and now I can't get it in flat. Okay, if I press the bottom of it, so if I go like this and I press down here, then it lays flat. I'm disappointed. I'm a little sad. There's already like plastic and stuff rubbing off just from the few times I've opened it. You can see scrapes along the bottom. You can get a really high quality portable monitor for like 400 bucks, like this Asus ROG Strix 15.6 inch monitor that's good, like designed for gaming and also has the same kind of thing as a built-in kickstand. Yeah, it doesn't suspend here but how many scenarios where you're using this thing where you can't use a portable monitor? Like you, you don't also have enough table surface for a portable monitor, maybe on like a train or a plane and maybe that's really, this is really important to you. Try a portable monitor first. If that really doesn't work for you, then maybe look into this. What do you think? Is this a dream worth chasing? Is this something that we need to see more of in the market and it's just not quite there or is it a little bit of a nightmare? I can answer that. I'll be the judge yeah, of that. Sure. What am I looking at? It's another tri screen. Oh god, this again. But this is the one from the company that is suing Quumzy. Oh yeah, cool. So we covered it, but it's a uh, kind of Quumzy. It's a funny oh. joke. It's yeah. kind of Quumzy. If you like this short circuit, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, shut up. No one likes a whiner. If you would like to watch another video, why don't you watch uh, the one about the Star Wars TV that Ploof did? It's a Star Wars on your TV. What? Now I feel bad.